Today's video is about trusting yourself. So a while back ago, I read this book by Stephen Covey called uh, Trust and Inspire. I don't remember much about the book, but the one thing I do remember very, very clearly is his equation for trust. The equation was very simple. It was trust is uh, the addition of expertise and intent. You will not trust somebody unless you believe they have the expertise and if you believe they have the right intent. So he felt that those were two parts of the equation of trust. He put more emphasis on intent than he did expertise. And thinking this equation through, I've applied it to myself. Do I trust myself? Meaning, do I believe that I have the expertise to do something I'm trying to accomplish? And do I believe I have the right intent? Now, these may sound kind of silly, but think about it for a minute. You're the only one that really knows if you have the expertise to do something or not. And you're definitely the only one that really knows if you have the right intent or not. So if either one of those parts of the equation break down, you will not trust yourself. And therefore, you will not have, a comp you will not have the confidence to go accomplish anything you're trying to achieve. Without confidence, you're bound to fail. So let's think about expertise for a minute. Absolutely true that you can fake it till you make it, no doubt about it. However, you need to have some core level of competence, or otherwise you'll never have confidence in yourself. Like let's say you set some big objective that you would like to achieve, maybe in business or personally. You'd like to learn something new, become something different. Uh, you can embark on that journey, but if you don't at least understand a little bit about what you're trying to accomplish and have dedicated some time to do so, then you're just not going to have confidence in yourself. So in order to accomplish any objective, you've got to really spend some time understanding what it is you're trying to achieve. Like, let's say my objective was to become a really awesome chess player. Well, there's no way I'm going to become an awesome chess player unless I learn how to play chess. I mean, it's just stupid. And you actually know this in your own mind. You know that when you engage in something, if you don't have some core level of competence, it's just not going to work out. So this is a major confidence builder by spending the time doing the homework and learning at least the basics of what you're trying to accomplish. Second is the right intent. Now this may seem rather obvious, but if you don't have the right intent, you're never going to have confidence. Now you think this would be easy, right? But no, we lie to ourselves all the time. We fool ourselves. We pretend. We go through the motions. You know, in fact, what's worse is we never actually sit back and think about what our intent is. We go through our lives mindless with no real mindful thought process about what we're doing and why. I think if you understand why you're doing something, you know exactly the reasons which got you to do the behavior in the first place, and you believe in those reasons, like you really understand the why and you believe in it, that would be the correct intent, and that would build a tremendous amount of confidence in accomplishing the objective. So, if you've got some goal in your life you're trying to achieve, think about that for a minute. Think about, okay, what expertise do I have on this topic, and what is my real true intent? I think if you can answer those both those questions, it goes a long way to helping you have confidence. Thank you.